So I saw a request for Naruto Otsuki form, and I was like, that's a thing. So I looked it up, and yeah, it's like a fan image. It's really cool. So it's like he's got Hagoromo's soul or something. He becomes like the vessel for Hagoromo. It's kind of a fan art. So, and it's like a three quarter pose. So it's really good. It's a cool image, right? And I'm seeing two of them, one without an eye in the middle of his forehead. So I don't know who originally drew this. Let's put credit to whoever did. And I've seen it called Ren Ridiku Senin or something like that. So um, but I'll just call it sort of Otsuki Naruto. Narusuki. <laughs> so let's go. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hip pause if we go too fast. Start with the nose. And it's kind of like this L shape, right? So you just go down and then back in, right? So it's kind of like a letter L. And then his nostril, just there. At the top of the nose, then we make it sort of his brow, so it curves back out, kind of like, so we're making this kind of like a Z or a letter, like a long S or something, backwards S. And then it goes up, so he's frowning pretty heavily, okay? So that's his brow, right? So his eyebrows just across from this, starting here, okay? And then it goes this way, real long. So this is like the big eye. You can see a little bit of his other eye behind his nose, but this is the main eye, basically. So the eyebrow comes down, so about there. Okay. So his eye will be underneath this, right? So it'll go diagonal up, across, like so. And then I'm gonna do it like a hook, sort of more that way. I think in the in the image it's kind of curved a bit more, but I'll go kind of more like the original sort of Naruto style. It's kind of like this dark hook here. And we're just going to make this a little bit darker on top as well. Bottom eyelid then. Bit of a bump underneath my page there. What is that? Oh, there's, like a, there's a bump right there. Sorry about that. There's something under my page. <laughs> So, right, so that's like generally the eye shape. And then we'll have like some eyelid lines just like coming down here. Like this point here. So his iris and pupil. So he seems to have like sage mode eyes with the Rinnegan around it. So goes pupil, no iris, sorry, here. Goes down to his bottom eyelid and around here as well. Okay, and then we have sage mode, Kurama sage mode eyes inside, right? So you've got the long, thin. Eye in there. And then the fox like, no, frog like. square part just here as well and then we have the curved lines that go around like so Right, and then there's like some lines just around the bottom of the eye here. And he has the orange, what looks like sage orange. I'll draw it in, but it's this is done with color, right? This is actually done, drawn in with orange. So it comes up to a spike and then goes back down to the bottom of his eye. Right, so this is all orange like in here. It looks like it stops up here somewhere. So we'll go, we'll bring it to maybe there. 
that's all orange. All right, so then like some more sort of frown lines just here on his face. And then the other eye, so you can't really see it, right? Because it's in here where his cheek is. So we'll do, we'll do the mouth and chin and stuff, and then we'll try and fit that in. So mouth just down here. So you got like this sort of flat sort of curved mouth. Kind of curves around like that. And then his bottom lip just there, right? So he's kind of smiling, got his cheek marks just, well, we'll draw the cheek first. So the chin. Like that. So we're in three quarter pose, right? So we can see the side of his face coming up here and his jaw going this way, right? So we do his jaw first. So it's always a harder sort of facial position to draw than just normal looking forward sort of face. Okay. And then we'll go up. There's a little bit of a gap in his jaw in the image. So we'll just go there. You could do a full line if you wanted. And then just above this, you got a sideburn. And his ear always comes out from his sideburn just beside it here. And then there's some ear lines inside. Easiest way is always sort of this kind of letter J sort of thing. And then if you want, you can add some more lines. So the other side of his face is different, right? So it goes up, touches the nose, right? Like that. And it curves around his cheek, his cheekbone, like just under his, like under his eye socket, right? So it'll curve. Around. So this is that bone you have under your eye in your cheek, right? So it curves in to the corner of the eye and then curves out. So it starts to curve out now. And then it goes around his brow and up to his head, right? So subtle sort of curves on the side of the face. So that's his brow, right? So that means the eyebrow goes up to there. And coming out from the nose, so it just goes up this way. And then we can see his eye just coming down from there. So like just, and because it's three quarter pose, it's smaller. The eye is smaller on this side. It goes into his brow there. And if you want, you can make this just a little bit thicker. Right, and then his iris, because it's turned away, right? This one is circular. This one would be more of an ellipse. So like a skinny circle. So it goes down, back up, see that? So it's like it's a bit pointy down there. And then again, we have the fox sage eye. So sort of that thin line first. And then the sage coming across here frog square eye. And then around that we'll have some Renegan lines. And then some more eyelid lines there. Right, so then his actual cheek lines as well. Like so. 
So rest of his hair, and in this form, he's got the horns, right, that the Otsuki have. So hair there, and then we got a horn that comes out from the top of his forehead here. And then more hair. Short Naruto spikes. Another horn here. And then short spikes. Like so. Maybe some visible just back here as well. So he's got that third eye then inside here. We just do sort of a thin eye shape in there. And then he's got those circles that go around it, right? So you got concentric circles sort of in the middle. It's always sort of tricky to do this, but go around as best you can. If you have something circular to trace around, that makes it a lot easier. going around right up to the top eventually and up here be like a shadow like that and then he, he of course has those dots like that the the Sharingan has on them so like three on this and there Oops, get this no here here there Roughly like that, right? And then it can have some like skin lines just coming around. Like so, right, so then he's got these floating orbs all going around his head. And then his jacket. So we'll draw his, his clothes, the main parts of his suit first, right? So this comes down. Right, and then goes down back this way. It's got like a collar, his back, up around the back of his neck. We can see some hair in here. And then his back sort of just goes like this way. He's got a suit, so it's like a suit jacket. So it's got a line there, something else there. And then his coattails go back this way, like a V down there we got like and he's got symbols here but we'll just do sort of the front of his jacket first what can we see so front going that way this goes that way and then his collar there neckline there And then the jacket on this side. There. Like that. And then his shoulder on the other side kind of comes out from his cheek. Down. To there. Right. So then those orbs, right? So if you have something circular, like a cup or something to draw around, feel free. If not, would my speaker be the right size? Ugh. No, too 
too small. Okay, so let's give this a go. So we go like first one, say here. Right, so that's kind of the edges of it. Okay, one there. I'll just sort of mark them out first. One here, one back here. Another one down here. I've got to get a compass, it'd be so much quicker. Okay, so then just fill them in. one that goes behind his head a little bit. Behind his back. Do, 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 do. Okay, and I'll just sort of smooth those up now. Okay, and then those sort of Tomei kind of symbols, right? They're like number nines, basically. So these kind of things. They go around his neck, you can just see kind of two here. And then they're all on his coattails. This would be so cool if this actually happened in the show. Okay, and then if you want like scratch marks, you know, if he's been in sort of a battle or battle damaged sort of Naruto. Okay, but I think I'll leave it there. Of course, you'll erase and color over all the orbs and stuff, but that's it. Naruto Otsuki mode. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.